hi everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is valerie and this is evelette say hi she's grown a lot she has like curly hair and it's like really long but she's definitely grown a lot since the last time you guys have seen her on this channel so i just wanted to show you guys her can you smile smile she is three months old look at her little her little hair <laughs> so today i'm going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag video this is actually my second time filming this video because the first time like i don't know if you guys saw in the intro but i had my tv on and i actually got copyrighted for that wasn't able to upload the video so round two let's go here's my diaper bag the brand is petunia pickle bottom i really like this bag and i really like this brand they have all types of designs and oh my goodness so this brand has all types of designs they have like different collabs like with uh Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, Disney Princess, they even have just normal plain bags and they have different styles. So definitely go check out Petunia Pickle Bottom. So this bag is like all leather and it's pink. I like that the that it looks kind of glittery, but it's it's still leather material. So a little bit about the bag. It has backpack straps. So that you can carry it like a backpack and it has padding in the straps i attached these stroller straps to this bag from another um diaper bag that i had so this does not come with it and then it also has like this strap right here so that you can carry it like a purse so i like that feature that you can carry either like a purse or a backpack and then it has two pockets on each side and the pockets are insulated. They have like that insulated material so you can stick bottles in there. And then um, on the back, they, it has like this little pocket right here. And I think it's meant for your phone because it has like a uh, soft material so that it doesn't scratch up whatever you put in there. I like to put my wallet and phone in there. Right now it's empty though. Okay, so now we're gonna open the bag and this is what it looks like on the inside. It has this like polka dot and stripes print. And then it also, um, it's like a magnetic shut and then it also has the option of buttoning it shut, but I like the magnetic feature. So when you open it on the inside, it has these two little zippers and that zipper in the middle. And my favorite part about this bag is that you can actually zip these two zippers down and it rolls out into a changing pad. So it also has these two little pockets and this one has like your wipies in it. And it also, this bag comes with a wipey case. And then you can also store your diapers. And then you can change your baby right on this pad. So I really like it. It's really convenient. I've used it tons of times. Honestly, probably every time I go out, I use it. And it's very easy to use and unzip and unzip to get to it. So like I've had my baby in one hand and I've, I've like, um, I'm stuck. I've like, you uh, was able to pull this out with the other hand, so. It's like very easy, very convenient, and I love the feature of this bag. My other diaper bag had a changing uh, changing table as well, but you had to like pull it out of the bag and set it up, and it was just like a lot. I hardly even used it. So this one I actually do use. So on the inside of the bag, this is what it looks like. There's one pocket right here, and then the rest is in there. And it has like a couple pockets on the inside. So 
So the first thing that I'm gonna pull out is this little travel case and inside this case I have a little bit of the essentials that I may or may not need. I have like some stuff to distribute medicine, I have a thermometer, nail clippers, a booger thing, nail filers, and then I have like these little scissors. I don't know honestly what those are for but I don't know. Just in case. And then on the other side, I have Andy ointment up and up. I definitely recommend this diaper rash cream. And then I have a little rattle in here. My baby is just getting to the stage where she is starting to pay attention to toys. So I only carry one for now. And then I have a couple more diapers in here. And then I have a formula dispenser. These very much come in handy if your baby's formula fed and you're on the go. And then I have a bib. My baby drools a lot. I don't really use bibs, but just in case she might need one, it's good to have one. And then I have a change of clothes. You always need a change of clothes. The one time I didn't bring a change of clothes, she blew her diaper out, so always bring it. And then I have an extra pair of socks. I have a little washcloth. I honestly use these to like clean up spit or like just saliva, anything that she makes messes with. And then I have a little burp cloth for the same reason. And then I have a thin blanket. I live in Arizona, so you do not need, like, anything thicker than this. This is just, like, personally, when I take naps and go to sleep, I need a blanket. <clears throat> so I pack this blanket, like, just for comfort for her. And then the next thing I have in my bag is two extra pacifiers. They're two different types. She does not like the these ones. She likes MAM pacifiers because they're like flatter nipple. And then I have another diaper rash cream. I don't really like this one, but just in case like I lose the other one or something, I have an extra one. And then I have a pacifier sterilizer. This one's battery operated. You just put it in there and you can sterilize your pacifiers. I do not really use this one, but sometimes when I'm out and about, like she'll drop her pacifier and I'll go rinse it off. And sometimes I feel like the water isn't clean or something for some reason, I don't know. So I'll just go ahead and dump it in here and I feel like it's a little bit cleaner. So that's all that I have in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back before I leave it. So now we're gonna move on to this pocket right here. And this pocket is like my personal pocket. I have like stuff for myself in there. So the first thing that I have is this, uh, I honestly forgot what these are called. It's a pad to prevent leaking. I no longer breastfeed, but this is definitely an essential when you do. And then I have some stickers in here. <clears throat> I have lip gloss and then I have baby shampoo travel size. I don't actually use this brand on her, but I think I got this from the hospital. So I'm just gonna carry it with me in case I ever need to shower her or something. And then I have some Hawaiian botanical lotion that I got from Hawaii. And then I have some more lip gloss. And then I have a travel size perfume. And this one is Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. It smells like chocolate. I like that perfume a lot. This lip gloss is also from that collection and it tastes really good. Like vanilla. So for the most part, I think that's all that is in my diaper bag. Yeah. That's all that's in my diaper bag. 
I definitely recommend this bag. It's very convenient, spacious. I can fit so much stuff in here. And I'll also use it when she gets older. And when she goes out of a diaper bag, I'll just give it to her because it's Minnie Mouse. It's really cute. Or I'll just keep it. I don't know. I've seen people also use these for Disneyland, like for themselves, just to carry stuff with them because it has Minnie on the front. But definitely a very good bag, worth the money, and that is all for today's video. That was my second time filming this video, but definitely worth it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it enough to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers, so hit that button. You better hit that button. Just kidding. You don't have to if you don't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go. So peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.